Hey guys. Hi guys. Today we are here in Oaxaca. Yep. El Rancho RV Park. Mm -hmm. Still. Yes. And we decided to give you a tour of our truck since we have the possibility from Everlanders. Jason, thank you. He's behind the camera right now. Yes. Thanks a lot. <laughs> there we go. Thanks a lot for filming this. Yes. And uh, yeah, again, since you didn't know or if you don't know, yeah. we are pregnant. Half of the pregnancy. Yes. Yeah. So we have something to celebrate and we yeah. thought we'd do a tour. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this tour, we're going to show you a little bit about the outside yeah. of our rig. And Isabella. Yeah, I is will tour the inside for all of you guys that are so curious and always ask us to know how is the inside, how we live. So yeah. check it out. <laughs> I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian, and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home, Frank the Tank, for the past almost four years. And together with our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living even for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. It's a Mercedes Atego 4x4, 1023, means 10 tons maximum weight, 10.5 in our case, and uh, 230 horsepower. It is a 4x4. We have three differential unlocks. It took us through this planet already four years, and we are very satisfied. Um, we are running the Michelin 365 ADR20 XLs. Here we have the cabin. It has a Truma heating, it has a toilet, it has water, it has all the things an Overlander needs. But I guess we talked about the outside already in another video. So you're going to see that somewhere here. And uh, now I think it's time to introduce you first time on our channel, which is amazing, thank you, to the inside. And guess who's waiting here? It's going to be Isabelita. So have fun with Isabella in the inside. Come inside. <laughs> Hi, welcome to our home sweet home. Here you can see a rays of a panorama window. Right now we will close it because it's too much wind and it will be better for you guys to listen. <laughs> then here we are in our living room. And this is really nice because this is also a sleeping room at the same time. The bed is like 120 for 2 meters. I love the Velcro system. And everything that we have in our truck is fixed with Velcro, like this thing. And I will show you on the kitchen also more of that. Up here we have all the storage. We have also a radio that most of the time you use it with a USB full of music. And here we have our TV that doesn't work in America. <laughs> the TV work, but the satellite dish is only for Europe. And we have a little fan USB that we bought for hot days. And that is our living room. And in this, on the other side, so far away, is our kitchen. The spot that I love a lot because I cook a lot and Fabian eats a lot. Then here we have a little two stove kitchen. We have a little fridge down here and we have a little sink that's perfect and we have what a lot of people like is the spicy rack where all my spices are here. This was a little present that we got from Alaska trip and I use it a lot to cut the spices. Then a lot of storage above, a lot of storage down here. We have like all kinds of things that you can find in the kitchen and here. We also changed that uh, one year or two years ago and we put like a drink water and the dish, normal water to clean dishes. Then, and everything again with Velcro on the wall fixed. And here's again Velcro fixed. That we don't need to all the time that we said, let's go, let's move the truck, that we needed to take things away. Everything that stayed, this stays here is a silicone, this stays here is a silicone, is everything like simple to move whenever we want to. And right here we have our entry door, entrance door. Above I put like a little nuts because we eat a lot of nuts. 
in the diet that we are normally and we have like all kinds of things and those are really nice because they also have velcro around it and those were from coffee cups that we bought and we reuse it to put our nuts above here is the whole technical panel that maybe if Fabio wants to go through he can do that later on and explain a little of everything that is here but in general is everything that we need uh, Isabella asked me politely in her clip to explain we have here a 12 volt plug we have a 230 volt plug we are running the truck with 230 volt we have 110 volt we have 12 volt and we have 24 volt we have here a diesel generator which i can demonstrate quickly kaboom and when it's running it's not too loud and it gives us we are basically full now so you can see but it gives us up to 80 amp hours charging we also have here our Votronic pan panel uh, here we can see our uh, well we have 400 amp hours capacity in the in the batteries of the truck we are 100 percent full we have 13.8 voltage and we are losing right now minus 0.5 because i don't know maybe fridge or something we have a solar we have about 300 watt solar energy on top of the roof we have a 230 volt inverter so this one the diesel domatic uh, uh, generator started with 230 volt when it's on but if we don't want to run the generator we have a 1500 watt inverter here then i come to this side which is our american side i say this is our santrex uh, freedom x 2000 it's an inverter he just kicked in uh, 2000 watt 120 volt or 110 volt uh, energy from 12 volt here's our gas how much propane we have only for cooking at the moment and here we have our truma heating water and hot air this was included an old aircon we don't use that anymore i'm gonna put this is my plan if jason von everlander sees that now he is so mad at me because I didn't do that yet, but I'm going to put a 110 volt plug right here because Isabella has an easy access. And then right towards this long way, we have our closet area where we have most of the things are like clothes. I don't know if you guys can see here, little clothes and fabbing clothes and underwear. I, this is my organization. I love it. <laughs> and then kitchen stuff here is really nice because we did like a landing station or something like that. And we have our coffee machine that we use every morning and all kinds of electronic stuff stay here to charge. And here's only to hang. I don't know how bad it is. Uh, you guys can see a little to hang clothes also. This is the super basket for Faber that he plays basketball every day inside the home. What to do on a rainy day? And then in this side, we are in our sleeping room. Here we have like a bed that is 220 for 145, I think. We have above here a lot of storage with all kinds of things. And I think we have more storage than we need because we keep with us a lot of stuff that we don't need at all. But there is a space because of that is there. Bookshelf, some medicine to have like easy taking. Here, just here on the entrance, we have our aircon, my guitar that I'm still learning <laughs> after two years. Our jackery, that is for the battery, extra battery here close to the bed. And a little fan that we have on the other side that is pretty nice in hot days. Now I will show you the bathroom. Here we are in our shower. It's big enough that Fabian can fit inside. We have like this nice window up here. And for me, with big belly, I still fit inside. It's storage here, towels on the other side. And in the other side of our bathroom, we have the toilet, we have the sink, we have a big mirror that is really nice to make up and all that things sometimes when we do. Then a big storage here with all kinds of things for the toilet. And we still have down there more storage that we put all kinds of cleaning products. I don't know, it's probably not organized, but yeah, cleaning products and all kinds of things stay here. 
but it's a good size bathroom. We like it a lot. And we have here also the KCT windows that we have around the whole car the sun that make really the feeling of you have like being a house because you open with one hand, it's really nice. Now that I have the mic, I have to jump in for some things. Isabella was talking about the windows. They are pretty amazing because here, and you have to touch it, you have a, a, a mode for airing, you have a mosquito net, and if you want privacy, you do this. So those windows are excellent. Okay, and here we have, because we have the cutout for our stairs inside, we didn't want to lose the space. So we created this here. And it's really rugged. I can't even stand on it. Amazing. Like all over in our truck, we also have a mosquito net in the door. Now the door is closed because of wind, but it makes sense to have. And here we have the connection to the front and there is the dog sleeping room. We are already traveling with uh, several years, full time on the truck. And our journey started first in Europe when we went to do a test drive in Italy. Then we shipped the car to Halifax in Canada and we crossed whole Canada. We did Alaska. We went down to the lower 48, what they call lower 48. We did Baja California, then back to the lower 48, back to Canada, back to Baja California, <laughs> which is like our route was really crazy going up and down, up and down all the time. And now we are in Mexico mainland and it's really nice. Now we got pregnant. Yeah. And where the journey will bring us? In quarantine, we got pregnant Yes. in Cancun. We have several videos about that. Yeah. And now the journey uh, will lead us. We are thinking the chances are very high mm -hmm. that we go to Europe yes. to get the baby mm -hmm. because we have insurance and all that. There are several reasons why we decided for that. And stay tuned because we probably are going to ship the truck as well. Yeah. Um, because where we go, our home goes. It's our home since yeah. five years already or almost five years. And we want to have it there too. And we're going to prepare this lovely truck for our little baby yes so there are some things that uh, need to be changed and uh, yeah, yeah we are excited we yeah. love this continent That's and beautiful. probably we're going to be back when we talked about booking the flights with the airline uh, we already figured out we can fly back to argentina maybe or mexico mm -hmm. we are not sure where we're going to end up uh, to keep on rolling yeah. But a little test phase for us. Europe is always a little test phase. Yeah. So, and uh, with the baby, I think it will be nice. Exactly. Then let's see. So traveling with two dogs and a baby soon. Stay tuned. We also have now a little membership on YouTube. Yeah. So whoever sees the join button here. Yep. Um, yeah. You can check out, click work, it. We have some extra footage perks. behind the scenes, some extra perks for you guys. And uh, yeah, see you when we see you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> bye bye. Adios. Here's our water inlet. I fill uh, water in here with our Guzzle H2O filter. And this department goes all the way through. And here's all our stuff. We have another video about that on our YouTube channel. Thank you, Jason from Everlanders. Uh, he is filming right now this with his good camera gear. So you're going to enjoy this tour. Okay, okay. <laughs> she does have no sense of. <laughs> Get them be pregnant woman. See you when we see you. See you when we see you. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao.